Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis or our quick analysis. Actually, we were supposed to also go on our uh, fundamentals, but we'll just actually mix that. So I hope you're doing good. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share uh, with your friends. What's really happening, guys? So we saw the market has been going crazy. And when we check, uh, as we uh, said yesterday, we did not really have any economic uh, news yesterday so today we have something today we have something we have consumer uh, confident tomorrow it's the day where we're going to have a federal reserve or interest rates fomc guys so obviously we're not gonna miss this we're not going to miss this and yeah uh, that is actually what we have and we know very well that mostly the market sorry Mostly when we expect the news, guys, when we expect in high impact news, most likely the market tends to go crazy or sometimes it's just consolidated. It goes up, it goes down. Why? Because mostly there are people who don't really want to uh, uh, actually get involved in, in those economic news. So if maybe they had some, posi some positions or orders opened, they will tend to close. And there are some who are going to just jump in. And that that traffic that is coming in and out, it makes the market to go up and down or to range because that traffic is not going in the same direction. But besides that, if maybe after the news, most likely, if we already understand what's really happening, if the news are positive or negative, most likely we will be seeing the market going in the same direction, which means now everyone understand that okay things are like this now the traffic will most likely go in the same direction that's where we're gonna see the market moving nicely because already everyone is no longer guessing already we know what's really happening with the economic news well, they will be releasing the news tomorrow it seems like they're not gonna cut the rates obviously but i heard some stories that there is a chance that yeah maybe they might cut maybe they might cut the rates but I'm not convinced. I will just have to wait and see. Then from there, I will take my decision. What will happen once the market, uh, one day they don't change the rates or they just keep them like that? I don't think we're gonna we're going to see anything uh, big. I think something that is going to happen is to listen uh, to the conference, to listen to the conference. If they don't change anything here, I think the market will just move the way it was moving even now. It means. The rates will stay where they are, which means they will be at the highest level uh, for quite some time until that time or that September when they're trying to cut the rates. It means the rates will still be higher. But what we want from them is to tell us that, you know what, now there is a good chance that we're going to cut the rates. But beside that also, we also have NFP. But at the moment, we just want to see, hear what they're going to say on the conference because... On the federal rates, I think they're just going to keep them like that. But we want to understand, are they going to cut maybe once, maybe twice? How many points are they going to use basis points, whether 25, 50 or 75 basis points? So that is going to give us a much, much better understanding and a very good idea of what uh which direction we're supposed to take you see so when we go further we also have interest rates from britain as uh, these are still coming we're still gonna go through them and check them uh maybe tomorrow but yeah it's fomc week so yeah uh friday it's gonna be interest rates it seems like uh, they the forecast there they say no you know what the numbers will be going down which means maybe we'll be selling the dollar and if that is going to happen that will be good because it, it's going to help inflation to go even lower i hope that makes sense i hope that makes sense so now i can just show you before we go on the analysis side uh, let me show you the signals that we took yesterday most likely they were just scalping so let me start with uh, German, 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 or let me do it like this. Yeah, German 40 or German 30. We had a pending order here yesterday. Let me change the color. We had a pending order from this area. You can see the market did move very nice. Now it's reversing. 
that was just a scalping i can show you that uh, that also in the group so here on smp we also had a sell pending or a order the market did go a little bit lower but it was a scalping so it did not really go even lower that aggressive like a uh, german uh, 40 or 30. so nasdaq quite the same yes you can see the market even reached halfway towards uh, take profit but it was a scalping yeah we do take scalping uh, in our group guys uh, so that you can have a quick quick trades very quick uh, or to catch quick moves right so we also have a nice sell here as a scalping on us 30 i hope my people did smash the market so another one we took gold we also we were also selling this uh, but on a scalping everything it was a, a scalp uh, yesterday except a euro usd i think we also took euro usd uh this was a, a just a normal a trade so you can see that uh, we had a pending order here the market reached this level so i was expecting the market to keep uh, moving even uh, to keep going lower but what i like is it's like we got it 100 percent yesterday so which is good 100 percent so for those who wants to be part of the team i will be opening uh my telegram to show you uh, where how where i send the signal or how i send the signals so on the screen you can see that we have a yearly a uh, signals case for only 48 dollars you're saving a lot and for those who wants to be part of the team please please let me know let me know if you want to be part of the team uh yeah if you want mentorship we also have a special on that if you want special signal let me know let me know if you want special signal special signal is where i'm going to send the signal straight to your whatsapp trying to help you to reach your goals or your target and that i think it's way much better for those who wants to be uh, who just don't want to be in the groups you see so talk to me if you want that and we can just plan that together and help you to be consistent because sometimes you understand you understand how to trade you know everything but still you are not profitable you see sometimes you just need some assistant because you're not starting from scratch i hope that makes sense so on these are the signals that i've sent yesterday in the group you can see we are 227 uh yeah if we are 227 we oh we also had aud cell we had Gemini 40 we had euro usd these are all cell positions you can see so i will have to check aud because I think I showed you everything but not AUD. We had US 30, you can see that. And we also had SP 500, we also had NASDAQ, gold. So those are the signals that I've actually uh, sent yesterday. So, yeah, a lot of them, like 90% of them, they were in profit. So let's check AUD, USD if we did get in that profit. Nope. The market did not even reach our uh, TP. Sorry, not TP. The market did not really reach our entry or our pending order. So that it's like did not really touch anything. So it's fine. So which means, yeah, we were just eating very nice. You can see that. You can see that. So yeah, this is what we have in our group. So for those who want to be part of the team, let me know, guys. Let me know. So now I think we can just jump straight to some quick analysis. I saw on the comments, guys, you said I should add other things. Yeah, I will be adding them. I will be adding those. I think I saw Hong Kong. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw Hong Kong 50. I saw what? I think I saw silver and something like that. So I will be going through that, guys. I have to go through them and understand them before I just analyze them here. So from tomorrow, I will be going through some of them. But I saw that some, there's people who also... I think like silver or something so i will also check uh, that out so today uh, let's just jump let's just jump on that let's just jump on this so now i will just start with bitcoin so guys we i saw trump he was talking about bitcoin bitcoin is gonna go to the moon stuff like that yeah what do we think i think yeah i think it will end up going higher if the U.S. president says stuff like that, or former uh, U.S. president says stuff like that, if he wins, obviously, 
it will obviously make it go even higher because it shows that it's safe so many people who are afraid to invest or trade bitcoin they will most likely try to to start to invest in that so that will make it to go even higher but mostly we know that after there's some good news like that the market doesn't necessarily move immediately the market will take time before we see a very nice push so what we have here is the market has been actually going up on a very nice uptrend structure and now we saw this sort of a breakout and then the market uh, bounces back again to the upside so this is a continuation of that buy we can't say this is a sell so it shows us very well that you know what this is a continuation of a buy and we just have to uh, make sure that we draw our support line nicely just to make sure that everything is quite clear i'm using a daily time frame so that you can see nicely uh, what's really happening because sometimes on four hours time frame the candlesticks might not really be that nice so this is what we have at the moment why are we adjusting because the market is also adjusting so the market is not actually standing on one place the market is evolving so slowly we need to adapt to that and this is what we're going to do because the market broke out and then uh, bounces back so this is not like a fake breakout the market did break out but it shows us that it's just uh, adjusting the trend. But at the end of the day, it seems like we're going to have something like that. And yeah, I will really appreciate that. I think uh, the market will be going uh, straight to that 70 or maybe breaking out of that. You see, that will be good. That will be good. So let's push to the next one, which is Euro USD. Euro USD, I think, is quite straightforward. That's why we said we're selling this. And you can easily see that you know man the market is still has been going down for quite some time if you check these areas it's where the market find uh, or touches this resistant area and the overall move is just like that so where we are now we are expecting to see the market going down yes as they're not gonna cut the rates one way or another the dollar has to be stronger because they did not really cut the rates but uh, also on friday maybe things will change but for now i think the most important one it's just going to be for MC before uh, before because it comes earlier uh, and then NFP on Friday. But I think we'll see, even if maybe we see the reversals, I think at the end of the day, we will see the market trying to respect this trend and starting to go even lower. I hope that makes sense. So let's push to the next one. Let's push to the next one, which is a dollar index. Dollar index has been struggling around the same level, guys. You can see this thing is actually been going up for quite some time. A network, maybe my network is quite slow. So you can see that actually we are coming from this level, this level. We are actually going higher. This is a quite straightforward uptrend. So that's why uh, you can see, but just because this market changes over time, we also have to catch up with this type of moves. So this is what we have, by the way. So I'm expecting to see the market continuing going up. It shows us that the dollar is getting stronger. Maybe the news that we're going to receive or the events that we're going to have, maybe they're going to be positive. Maybe. So this is what we have. I think the market is just playing around this area. It was consolidating. I think we will end up seeing a nice bullish move around this area and that will mean the dollar is stronger and whatever that you have uh, any pair that is going against the dollar it means it will be suffering it will be suffering it will be if maybe it's euro usd it means that we might see it go uh, going down so now now let's push to the next one you can see even here on usd jpy you can see that yes we had a very nice structure uh, it was a very nice structure, a very nice bullish move. Then we had a breakout. This breakout is quite straightforward. It's clean. So I'm expecting maybe a continuation of a sell. Now, yes, I think the market can still reverse. I don't see anything wrong with that. I think the market can actually reverse to a point where we start to uh, have NFP, uh, FOMC. Maybe until FOMC, the market will still go up. And then maybe the market will start to reverse. It's up to the market. But if it's going to be positive, uh, the way we see it, it means maybe we might see the market going even higher, changing the overall structure. Because now we were expecting to see the market going uh, down. But with the uh, interest rates, it's up to the market. 
uh, or it's up to the event to see to change this type of a move if maybe it changes that it's okay most likely we know very well that events they don't really have enough uh, momentum to just change the overall trend and we might have this type of moves but at the end of the day the market might still continue so for now yes the market might still go up if it changes it means that it's quite aggressive the bullish momentum will be quite aggressive and i don't see that happening because if they they mention cutting the rate uh, on the next sessions i think that will actually give us that type of a sell structure i hope maybe you see that so let's push to the next one which is gbp usd what's really happening uh, i think we have a very nice structure here we have a very nice structure uh, the overall structure here it's a very nice one and now we are on a very nice uptrend uh, we can see that we are on this structure i don't know if maybe i should consider doing this not not nice not nice not nice i'm forcing that you can see that now i'm forcing so i'm not supposed to do that i can see that yeah it seems like it can make sense but it doesn't really connect nicely so which means i'm now forcing as we are coming from this downtrend structure so the market will have to create something there that we can use yes we are coming from this nice downtrend structure i i think the market will end up continuing like that as we are coming from this aggressive bearish momentum or downtrend so after that we see that the market might respect this area of a support it was a previous resistance now it seems to be a support we can see that the market is struggling to break that so which means there is a chance for the market to do what go even higher very nice structure by the way a very clean structure uh let's push to the next one let's push to the next one this is goldy gold 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 uh gold what's really happening on gold uh, gold structure guys uh, if you still remember we're still playing around this ranging structure around this area because if you still remember we had this uh, resistance on top here and then the market broke out now it's coming back again but it shows us that we're no longer going to look at this seems like the market it will be just ready to go higher but as i showed you yesterday that you know what uh, i think we have double structures here and we need to be extra careful uh, when we have that. So the, st the previous structure, it was a proper uh, bullish move that went actually higher. You can see the market was going up very nice until we have this breakout. So now on this breakout, we can see that the market is struggling to go higher. So there is a chance for the market maybe to consolidate before going down. Or maybe we can consider this area. That can also work very nice but most likely it shows us that the market has been respecting this nice uh consolidated as this resistant area so we'll see if maybe the market is going to respect this le level or maybe it's going to break or maybe this diagonal structure if it respect that it means we might end up going uh, down like that so but i think a, a nice sell there is gonna uh, work uh, very nice for us and yeah, for now, I don't think the market will be moving very nice until maybe after FOMC. FA, FOMC, guys, or interest rates, every country, actually the world is just waiting to see what will happen. The world is just waiting. You see, that's how US is too powerful. So yeah, so, and yeah, that's true. We have to just have to wait and see what's uh, what will happen if they cut the rates we will see so many countries doing the same we know they are just copying the leader right so now you are stating what's really happening we can easily see that yeah the market has been going up very nice we had this uh, scalping sell out uh, there and that was good also but it seems like the market is trying to reverse so if it's going to reverse i think the market I uh, will have to reach this area. And if maybe we break out of that, it's fine. It means we'll be going higher. But there is a chance that the market can touch that and still go lower. So where we are, I can't say this is a perfect structure. Maybe someone can say, do you see that? I see that, but it's not really clean. I'm not going to draw that. So yeah, I think I just have to wait and see what will happen here. We need to get on the market on the right a time on the right zone we can't buy here it's like already high so we need it when it's quite lower or 
if maybe it's time for us to sell, we can sell. But selling that is just going to be scal scalping because we can't hold trades longer on an uptrend while selling. So it doesn't really make sense, right? So NASDAQ 100, what's really happening? Yes, this is a very nice structure here. You can see that we are coming from a very nice uptrend structure. The market has been going up for quite some time. We had a nice breakout. So from this breakout, this is a pure consolidating, a consolidation. The market is just ranging around the same level. So which means we just need to relax. We had a quick sell there, but the market is just going up and down. So it shows us that we need to relax. Guys. So let's wait for the market uh, to give us a proper structure before we say maybe we're going to continue with the sell as we expect to sell already the market broke out of this uh, structure so we're expecting to see a nice continu a continuation of that sell now the market is reversing and stuff we'll see where the market lands then uh, we'll see what we can do but at the moment i think we it's better for us to relax we much better for us to relax Let's push to the next one. Uh, I like the structure of S&P 500. Quite similar to NASDAQ on a very nice uptrend structure. And now, now the market just broke out. As you can see, the market broke out here. I think we're going to have this type of a consolidation. The question is, will the market continue go, uh, going down or maybe we will see a reversal? At the moment, we don't really know. We have a nice resistance. We will see something if the market breaks out of that or if maybe the market breaks out of this support area it's where we're gonna start to say you know what let's continue selling yes we can easily see that the market is actually on a sell uh, as we broken out of that up uptrend structure so us oil what's really happening us oil is trying to show us that you know what we continue in with that oil uh, with that sell-off coming from a downtrend structure trying uh, after that, we saw a nice breakout. We thought maybe we, we were going to see a nice bullish move, but it seems like, you know what, the market is trying to reverse, and this is good for inflation. Inflation is going down when oil is going down also. So that is good. So let's see here. We did smash this one, but it was a very quick move, guys. It was a very quick move there. So yeah, I thought maybe the market was just going to reach this area again before we sell but it's fine because now the market shows us that it's bro uh, broke out there so which means we need to have something like that going even lower i think the market is gonna go lower on oyti or us oil that's what we see at the moment and that is very good because we don't really miss that much so um on german 30 what's really happening we can easily see that no man, the market is show it's showing us that it's slowly going up. I think the structure now start to make sense. But on top here, it's also an area where the market finds its a zone or resistance. So we just jumped or scalped that. You can see what happened there. It was a quick scalping, which was it was quite straightforward. But where we are, obviously, we're just going to wait for the market to reach maybe this level of support. Or maybe the market will go up there on the resistance and we will see what we can do. But I don't think that we have to just jump on a sell every time. The overall structure is actually an uptrend. So that selling, selling every time is not going to be good unless if you just scalping, that's good. We don't go, we're not going to hold this long. So our aim is to look for buy positions. But the market has been going crazy, not only on US pairs, all over the market things are not quite smooth so we have to be extra careful so i think for today guys thank you very much uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for those who want to be part of the team you can see that we have a very great special yearly for 48 dollars uh, for those who want to be in our mentorship let me know uh, we also have a special for those who want a special signals the ones that we can send directly to your message where we can communicate plan your goals your targets and work together there let me know we uh, we can actually do that so thank you very much don't forget to share the video